Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Just wait, I'm starting. Okay, so very good morning, all of you. Uh, so we have uh, covered in last classes. Uh, this is the basically module two, uh, the jet transfer method. And uh, today we'll discuss the another module, module three, that is state space analysis. Okay, so we will discuss today module three. One minute, I'm sharing my whiteboard. This state space analyze. So first of all, you have to know what is the state space analysis, okay? And uh, what is the applications and why why we have to use this state space analysis in our control system, okay? So you know that in our uh, modern age, in the modern control system, uh, it may be, uh, there are the many input and many output system. You know that this term, that is M I M O, that is many input, many output. So in our modern control system, uh, it, it has different input channels and also different output channels and it is working in parallel. Okay? So this, it is related in our complicated manner and the state space analysis or method, it is, it is synthesized and analyzes the control system and give the best suited for dealing with the multiple input and multiple output system when you have to require in optimum level. Okay, so so I am recall once again what is state space analysis? This state space analysis it is basically also another name is called state variable analysis. Okay, so I'm written here this state space analysis. It is also known as a state variable analysis. Uh, it is a commonly used method nowadays for analyzing the control system and the analysis That involves involves providing a complete 
idea about the behavior of the system at any given time utilizing the history of the system is known as state space analysis okay so this is the basically different sorry definitions of the state space analysis so this state space analysis it is basically required in our Uh, modern control system where many input and many output systems are available okay so in this state space, state space analysis it is basically also known as state variable analysis and it is a commonly used method nowadays for analyzing the control system this analysis that involves providing a complete idea about the behavior of the system at any given time utilized so it is another one important terms this is a time being oriented the timing signals it is also required for this stress stress analysis so given timing utilizing the history history means so in this stress stress analysis you have to easily easily consider the previous output just just for a given examples you have to use as one system uh, last 30 days okay so now today you have to measure one of the one of the parameter that is flow measurement okay so tomorrow that is a that is a, a the, 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 the day before one day two day or seven days before the rating is what what have to be done so this stress space analysis it is basically uh, track the history of the system that's why it is basically called the stress space analysis okay is it okay all of you what is the definition of the uh, stress space analysis this response every one otherwise it is uh, that is a one one sided class of um, some of it is it clear yes sir okay so uh, when you have to solve this test space analysis we have to first solve in our transport functions in the control system so using this transport functions we have approach the utilizing and uh, analyzing of the system for okay so now what is the need of the state space analysis to know that transfer functions we have to approach in our analyzing or uh, utilizing this uh, control system and the conventional method we have to easily to apply in the order of the analysis of the systems so there are same time it is it is working in multiple input and also same time it is also given in the multiple output also so that's why we have to express these are the different variables as some okay so what is the different variable so here are here we have to express different terms what is space what is state uh, what is state variable what is state vector so these are the basically different terms we have to discuss over here so first of all we have to discuss what is state so i am go to the next page so first terms we have to express state what is state so this definition it is very much important because you know uh, one short type short type of question is coming from this uh, definition so what is state state basically a dynamic system of our of our control system we have to consider here that, that is a state of different types of variables okay that means x1 x2 dot dot these are the different types of input variable we have here so first of all you have to know what is the state so the state of a 
a dynamic system is the smallest smallest set of variables are this is called state variables this is these variables it is called state variable such that the knowledge of these variables at the t is equal to t0 t is equal to t0 together together with the knowledge knowledge of the input input for t is basically either greater than or equal to the t0 it completely determines the behavior of the system for any time that is also t greater than equal to a t0 okay so this is the basically uh, for the state so i am repeat once again what is the uh, state the state of a dynamic system and it is a basically smallest state of the different variables that means in in, in the previous previous chapter we have to uh, consider here that is x1 x2 dot 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 x n terms so these are the basically called the state of the variables and sometimes it is this is called the state variable such that the knowledge of these variables at t is equal to t0 timing and it is together with the knowledge of the input for that t is greater than when the t is greater than also uh, greater than equal to also t0 but not less than t0 okay so it completely determine the behavior of the system of the condition is t greater than equals to this okay so this variable it is basically called the state variable or state now now next is state variables from the state state it is basically calculated for the state variables state variables the state variable it is basically dynamic system of the variable okay. so the state variables of a dynamic system are the variable variables make a of the smallest set of variable variables that determine the state of the dynamic system dynamic system so if at least in variables 
you know that number of terms of variable here that is the in variables. So we have to consider here variables x1, x2, x3 dot 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 that is the x in. So these are needed are needed to completely describe the behavior describe the behavior of a dynamic system dynamic systems okay but condition it is also same that means when t e is greater than equals to 0 but not less than Okay, so these are the basically different variable that is the x1, x2, x3, dot dot xm. This is basically called the different state variables. Okay, up to this part it is okay, all of you. Now, next third is what is state vector? Next third is state vector. What is state vector? Okay, so if n state variable, that means number of variable is n term, n state variables are needed to completely I take an example after the uh, definition, then you have to clearly idea it is given what is state vector, what is state variable, what is space space analysis. Okay, so just, so just uh, you have to uh, remember these uh, descriptions or the definitions of the different terms. Then lately you have to clear. So if n state variables are needed to complete the describe the uh, behavior of the system, behavior of the system then this in state variable can be considered the in components components of a vector x vector x so such a vector is called a so when you have to return the state variables in a, in a vector format, so this is basically called the state vectors. Okay, I am giving an example after after two definitions, then you have to clear. Next term is state space. State space. What is state space? So you know that when you have to consider for the multiple variable, for the multiple input and output. So that means number of variables is n, n, n variable. So this n dimensional n dimensional space whose coordinate coordinate axis consists of the x, first one is x1 axis, then x2 axis and so on, number of in, in, in axis, that is dot dot, x, in axis, it is called it is called 
ए स्टेट स्पेस एंड एनी स्टेट सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर एनी स्टेट एनी स्टेट दैट मीन्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स हंड्रेड एक्स फाइव हंड्रेड डॉट 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 दैट इज एक्स इन सो एनी स्टेट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड by a point in the state space in the state space so this is basically called the state space so i am repeat once again what is the state space so when n dimensional space n dimensional for the n number of variables is n so n dimensional space whose coordinate Axis consists of the different orientation that is x1 axis, x2 axis, dot 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 x n axis. So this is basically called the state space. And here any state it is can be uh, represented by a point of the state space. Okay, so this is the basically state space method. And when the state space variables, you have to consider for the one equations. Then it is called the state variable. Sorry, state space equations. So now next part. Next, next is state space equations. State space equation. So in state space. analysis we are concerned with three types of variables that are involved involved in the modeling modeling of dynamic system dynamic systems that means these are input variable input variable another number two that is the output variable and number three state variables okay so these three types of number one number two and number three so this c type of variable when you have to consider for the state space analysis okay uh, just like pattern of a equation so this is basically called the state space equations is it clear all of you please response is it clear so you will repeat with the Okay. Now we take examples. Then, then every terms you have to clear. Uh, that is the what is state, what is this space, what is state variable, and what is the process. Okay. So you can go next, next page. Now we consider. Just to see what you have. We consider first one variables we have to represent here. That is x of t. You know that I am I am given the when definitions the time it is also required for here because it is time being oriented. It is working for the different variable. First is x one t. This is the variable. Then x two dot dot dot. That is the number of n. That is x n t. 
So this is the basically matrix format. You know that this is the basically written for the matrix format, and this model it is called the state space model. Okay. So this model it is called state space model, or it is it is it is which form? You know that this is the matrix form. Matrix form. Okay. So here I am written here. X T denotes the state vector. State vector. While the X one T, X two T, etc. Are the state variables state variables that are forming state vector state vector. Okay, so this is clear. So here we have to learn what what is state vector. And what is state variable, and what is the basically uh, the matrix form of the state space analyzer? Is it clear? Is response eighty one? Yes, sir. Response नहीं दी दे रहा है आप लोग. Okay, next next state model. How it is designed state model? state model now we have to consider consider a linear system with two inputs we have we have to take here two inputs two inputs First is U one T, and another one that is U two. So these two are input U one and U two. While two output, two output that is Y one T and Y two T because you know that this state space and model it is working for the MIMO operation MIMO that is multiple input multiple output that means number of input more than two that is two or two or more than two okay and output it is also two or more than two okay so these are the basically MIMO operations so so. Uh, we have to design a one one block diagram. Then we have to easily give an idea. This is a basically MIMO block. That means multiple input and multiple output system. Okay. So first input we have to given that is U one T and U two T. This is the basically input, and output also here too. That is the y one t, another one y two t. This is the output signal, and two control signal we have to attach here. You know that, so. These are the two control or state variables. This is called the control signal or state variables. That is x1 t, another one x2 t. So this is called state variables. Okay. So this is this model. It is called the state model. Okay. So ये question भी आप लोगों को इस semester question में आ सकता है. ड्रॉ द स्टेट मॉडल तो तभी आपको ये वाला ड्रॉइंग आपको ड्रॉ करना पड़ेगा ओके इज इट इज इट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू 
now from from these equations we have to draw the particular state equations tabhi aap logo ko pata chal jayega kaise calculation karna hoga so now we have to consider for state equation so we know the state variables that is the variation of the timing we know that that means we know that state variables so variation with time that means ddt so thus writing the differential equations equation of the state variable we will have i am i am written the state variable in previous previous input previous two input and two output and two state variables okay so so that means equation that means d d t of that is first x1 t so it is also it, uh, written by our state space analysis here x1 one single dot okay one single dot this is called the state space symbols so this is is equal to a11 x1 t plus a12 x to t plus b11 u1 t plus b12 u2 t okay so this is the first ddt of x1 t next next then ddt of uh, x2 t and also it is expressed same one x2 single dot t this is is equal to a21 x1 t plus a22 a22 x2 t plus b21 u1 t plus b22 u2 t okay so this is the basically state equation for the difference equation with respect to the different timing signals you know that timing it is changes so using this timing these are the basically different state equations we have to solve now now you have to written this equation in the matrix form okay so a uh, matrix representation matrix representation will be given as aise aap logo ko likhna padega that is x1 single dot t another one x2 single dot t within sorry third bracket this one third bracket okay so this is the matrix symbols you know first that is a11 a21 another one a12 a22 next this is the you know that is x1 another one is x2 so x1 t another one x2 t back it close plus next this one that is b11 b21 b12 b22 okay another this is u1 and u2 so that means u1 t u2 t is it clear so this is called the matrix form of the state variable or state equations 
पहले इसको बोलो ये क्लियर हुआ या नहीं क्योंकि मैं रिपीट करूंगा ये इजी है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर टू इनपुट वेरिएबल एंड टू आउटपुट वेरिएबल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द टू टू स्टेट इक्वेशन स्टेट वेरिएबल्स दिस वन टू इनपुट टू आउटपुट टू स्टेट वेरिएबल्स वी हैव टू इजीली एक्सप्रेस ऑफ आवर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइमिंग दैट इज डीटीटी ऑफ एक्स1 एंड डीटीटी ऑफ एक्स2 सो वी हैव टू रिटेन द स्टेट इक्वेशन एंड देन वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इक्वेशन इन द मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म सो you know that in our state space analysis we have to express the equation in a matrix form okay so this is the matrix form of given equations is it clear sir so, yahan a11 a12 when is the matrix form hai? once again a11 a21 this is a11 a12 a11 this one a12 then also a21 a22 that's form Okay, that's form you have to written here because you know that this x one it is multiplied by a two one and x one is multiplied by a one. So that's why a one one a two one is x one. Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear? So what is the general form? So now you have to retain the general form of the equation. So therefore. the general generalized form okay everyone write your own name and roll number in the chat box also and pranav is present yes sir pranav you take a screen shot so okay. we have to retain the generalized form the equation of the state equation that is x dot t this is is equal to a x t Plus B U T. Okay, so this is the basically required uh, equations for the state space analysis of the previous one. Okay, so this is the x dot t. This is the state variables. You know that that is the U T. This is the input variable, and x t is the basically state variable. We have to multiply. now this is the input function another one another one is output function it is also available same thing same thing output equations output equations we have to consider here y1 t this is equal to c11 x1 t plus c12 x2 t plus d11 U one T plus D one two U two T. Another one is output that is Y two T. This is equal to C two one. Sorry, this one X one. This is X one T plus C two two X two T. Plus D two one U one T plus D two two R U two. Okay, so again you have to retain this matrix form. Matrix form that is U one T and U two T. This is is equal to You know C one one, C one two, C two one, C two two. Again, this is X one T and X two T. Back it close. Another one, D one one, D one two, D two one, D two two. Okay. And another, this is the U one T. And U two. So this is the output functions or output 